Welcome to the Love Hub channel, where we discuss matters of the heart and give relationship advice to women. In today's episode, we are going to talk about the signs that he's ignoring you. Ladies, if you're in a relationship and suddenly feel like your partner is ignoring you, it can be incredibly frustrating and confusing. And while it's natural for couples to have ups and downs in their communication, consistent ignoring is not a good sign. So today we're going to discuss the 10 signs that he may be ignoring you and let's see what we can do about it. Now remember ladies, the love hub is a judgment-free zone. We don't judge women here. We are your safe space. Now let's get to the topic. Number one, he's not responding to your messages or calls. This is clearly one of the most obvious signs, but some women think, well, maybe he's just too busy. Maybe something came up. Maybe he's just going through a really stressful time in his life. But if your partner is consistently not responding to any of your messages or any of your calls, it is a clear sign that he's not making you a priority. Normally, when problems arise in a relationship, you and your partner will sit down and try to talk about it. You will try to find a way to resolve any issues that you may be having. But this is difficult to do if your partner refuses to respond to your calls and messages. So the best thing that you can do is first allow him to have some space. Maybe he just needs some time alone to deal with things, gather all his thoughts, reflect over his emotions. So just allow him some space. You can then send a text or email. Sometimes people may be more comfortable communicating through text or email. Or leave a message. Leave a message explaining why you called and what you need to discuss. You can also consider other methods of communication. If your partner is not responding to your calls, try reaching out through social media or other communication channels and address the issue directly. But if your partner continues to not respond to your calls, try to talk to them about how their lack of response is making you feel. Try to work out a solution together. And if he still doesn't respond, if he still ignores that plea, then it's time for you to reassess your relationship. If your partner consistently ignores your calls and refuses to communicate, it may be a sign that they are not invested in the relationship anymore. Consider whether this is the kind of relationship you want to be in and whether it's worth pursuing. Number two, he's not making time for you. If he's consistently making excuses for why he can't spend time with you, or if he's canceling plans at the last minute, it may be a sign that he's no longer invested in your relationship. Now, of course, it's also possible that, you know, something came up. Maybe he's just really busy with work. Maybe he's stressed out. So it's important for you to sit down and talk to him about this. Ask him why he's not able to spend any more time with you. Figure out if there's a problem that the two of you need to resolve. Number three, he's not initiating contact. If you're always the one reaching out to him, it may be a sign that he's not interested in maintaining a connection with you. If your partner refuses to initiate contact with you, it can be a sign of many things, such as disinterest or an underlying issue in your relationship. So it's important for you to address the issue directly. Talk to him about his behavior and how it's making you feel. Try to work a solution together. If your partner is hesitant to initiate contact, find a compromise that works for both of you. Maybe you can agree on alternating who initiates contact first or finding a specific time of day to check in with each other. And then focus on other aspects of the relationship. While initiating contact is important, it's not the only way to show affection and care in a relationship. Focus on other aspects that are positive and fulfilling. If you feel that there is still something wrong, if nothing improves, then it's time for you to reassess the relationship. 
If your partner consistently refuses to initiate contact, you've already discussed this, you've already told him how it makes you feel, and the communication continues to be a problem, it may be a sign that he is not invested in you. Number four, he's not engaged in conversation. If he's consistently giving short, one-word responses or not responding at all to your attempts at conversation, it's a sign that he's possibly not interested in talking to you. And if he's not interested, why bother? Don't waste your time on him. You can find someone so much better. Number five, he's not showing affection. If he's not showing physical or emotional affection, it may be a sign that he's not interested in a serious long-term relationship. Now, you may say, well, he's just you know, maybe he's like really introverted, but even introverts can show affection, maybe just not in a very outward, super physical way, but you will feel their love. It's a normal human emotion. So if he's not showing any kind of affection, then maybe it's time for you to think twice about being in a relationship with him, especially if you're no longer happy. Number six, he's not sharing his life with you. If he's not opening up to you about his life or sharing his thoughts and feelings, then it may be a sign that he's not interested in building a deeper connection with you. Number seven, he's not making future plans with you. If he's not making plans for the future with you, it may be a sign that he's not interested in a long-term commitment. If you haven't met any of his family and friends and you've been dating for a while now, that is a red flag. Number eight, he's avoiding conflict. If he's consistently avoiding conflict or shutting down during disagreements, it may be a sign that he's not willing to work through issues in the relationship. Number nine, he's not acknowledging your feelings. If he's dismissive of your feelings or consistently disregards them, it's a sign that he's not interested in meeting your emotional needs. And that is really important in a relationship. Number 10, he's not showing up for you. If he's consistently letting you down or not following through on his commitments or promises, it's a sign that he's not really invested in this relationship. Ladies, if you're experiencing any of these signs, it's important to communicate with your partner and express how you're feeling. Try to work it out. However, if he continues to ignore you, or it doesn't even make an effort to address any of your issues, it may be time to reassess the relationship and consider moving on. We know that this hurts. We've been ignored before and it's not an easy thing to process, but you deserve to be happy.